In our previous video, we have seen the differences between the manage table and external tables in Hive database. Uh, in this video, let's look at um, how do we create and also load data into manage tables directly inside talent. Right, so let's get started. In the HDFS files view, uh, I have created uh, two separate folder directly under user, HDFS and retail. I, there's one uh, folder created for uh, the internal table. Uh, it's also called as manage table and there's a separate for uh, external. Right, we will look at uh, the external uh, example in the next video. Uh, for now, um, I'll be using this particular folder, int folder to store all the uh, HDFS files uh, in this particular uh, directory. Right, so right now uh, the directory is empty and uh, let's look at our um, Hive database and there are no tables uh, right now. Right, um, let's go ahead and st start looking at the talent job. I have already created this uh, talent job uh, with the basic skeleton. Uh, as you can see, there are uh, several HDFS and also Hive components. Um, right, so I have already pulled in uh, the HDFS connection and also Hive connection objects here. And uh, for uh, today's demonstration, we will be doing a loading of creation and loading of managed tables. Right, so for that, uh, all we need is uh, the HDFS port. So this command will, um, this component will lo load our local file into HDFS, right? And then we will be using a Hive create table component, and then we will be using T Hive load component, right? The T uh, create table uh, will just create the blank table, and then the load component will actually load the data into uh, Hive. Uh, as you see, um, there are no Hive output component here. So it's always um, done via the Hive load uh, component. All right, so let me start connecting to this. Um, in case uh, if my HDFS file um, put uh, has any issues, I want to call it as you know error and I'll just print uh, some you know, common message. And once this is um, fine, um, the put command is you know it's working fine. Then I would connect it using T sub job OK. And once the table is created, right, I will again use on sub job OK to connect to Hive load. Right, so let's look at uh, the detail properties here. So the Hive uh, create table uh, component has got various um, um, settings here. Let's look at uh, it one by one. So we'll be using an existing connection, right, and after that, uh, the schema. Uh, I have already created this schema under metadata. Uh, you, you can even use uh, TE file delimited um, you know, schemas here. So you just have to uh, pull in um, that particular schema. And we will have to provide the table name. I am calling it as customer manage table. And action on the table, you have uh, only two options here create table or create table if not exist. So there is no uh, option to drop the table and recreate. It is just that uh, you set um, either you create table or if not exist. And the file format you can specify either the text file or ORC file, Avro, Parquet. Um, so we will just uh, choose text file. You can even set the partition um, so that if you have a date range or a year, you can set the partition uh, using this um, you know option. Uh, and also if you have uh, external table, you can specify the file location. Um, that way uh, that that uses this particular file location and apart from that you uh, have an option to specify the row format right it really depends on the input file that we are uh, handling so if you are um, in my case i'm using a customer file right uh, this has got um, delimiter as in a comma so i'm using comma as my delimiter and uh, apart from that uh, when you go to advanced settings you can you have an option to create a link table uh, which is just a direct link to that table if not um, there are uh, options to you know create a table as an external table right so we will look at this option in our next demonstration uh, and if you want to create a table um, using a different table you can do that just check this option and you can specify uh, the other table name from which you want to create the manage table Apart from that, if you have any custom table properties, you can set this here um, in this uh, table properties, right? That's all uh, for this connection. Um, let me go ahead and uh, run the job. 
I'm gonna save it and then I'll go to the run tab and click run so once uh, this is executed it's gonna make all the connections and um, as you see um, the exit code is zero which means successfully completed right it's um, uh, it has already uh, uploaded the data to HDFS created the table and also completed the loading of the time so let us go ahead and refresh all right so I have we have already uploaded all the files and um, let's go to a SQL client right so we have a table already created with customer underscore managed so let's go ahead and uh, select data from this table right so the, the data is also loaded so we had a thousand records so all the thousand records are loaded and one thing uh, to note here is um, if you are uh, loading hive data right uh, you should the file should not be having uh, the headers right in my case I had the header right that's why it is treating it as a data row and there are no options to um, you know skip the header records right so make sure that is you know taken care um, so that is one catch um, there's no uh, way to you know, skip the header and the other uh, thing is if you really see we have actually um, used customer.csv and if I go back to my HDFS folder that customer.csv file is not there because uh, what happens is as soon as the hive load is executed that particular file gets moved to uh, hive warehouse uh, you know, folder so that's the default setting um, as soon as the hive load is called uh, the file will be moved to hive uh, warehouse uh, directory right the the folder name is called um, you know apps uh, hive warehouse uh, but in case of external file uh, the file will not be moved to um, to the separate uh, you know different folder so this is how uh, you achieve um, you know creation of the table and also loading of hive data Right, this component is not really required uh, this is just a one-time activity uh, all you need is hive load so that's all for this uh, demonstration uh, we will be looking at um, creating and uh, loading uh, external table in our next video